ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to your new YWC World Heavyweight Champion, Sammy Zayn! Now Sammy, congratulations on successfully winning the six-man ladder match just about a week ago on the very first YWC pay-per-view night of champions. As you know, tonight we are going to be presenting you with the title belt. But there are a couple of things that I want to let you know as well, Sammy, before I do so. First off, you are scheduled for a match tonight. Tonight we will have a first ever champion versus champion match in which you will take on the United States champion, Apollo Crews. So we're definitely looking forward to that matchup tonight. But Sammy, also, I've been working on trying to figure out who your number one contender for this title is going to be. And I just want to real quickly address the general manager of Raw, Michael Norman, who unfortunately I was unsuccessful in defeating at Night of Champions in order to gain the contract of, as we now know, Shelton Benjamin. But Michael, I want you to know that I was prepared for either outcome. I was fully prepared to bring Shelton Benjamin over to SmackDown if I beat you in our No Holds Barred match, but I was also prepared to lose. So Michael, I have taken it upon myself a mere 24 hours before our match at Night of Champions to sign two superstars here to SmackDown. Now, unfortunately, I've been notified that one of these people cannot make it tonight. However, one of the wrestlers I have signed is going to be here tonight. And Sammy, he will be the number one contender for your YWC World Heavyweight Championship. So, I wish you luck against him. I wish you luck in your match tonight against Apollo Crews. But here is your title belt. Go ahead and celebrate. You've earned it. Congratulations once again to the YWC World Heavyweight Champion, Sami Zayn. Welcome everybody here to YWC Smackdown, the follow-up episode to our first YWC pay-per-view, Night of Champions. Making her way to the wing is the Queen of Hearts, Natalia, as we now get ready to determine ourselves a new number one contender for the YWC Women's Championship, successfully defended about a week ago by Charlotte. And Naomi, arguably maybe one of the most athletic women on the roster, will get set to take on the daughter of Jin the Anvil Nightheart. And one of these two women will advance towards an opportunity of being the number one contender for the title. This will be one of two women's matchups we'll have tonight. Later on tonight as well, Dana Brooke taking on Emma. So it's the first time Oh, there's a nice standing dropkick by Naomi. First time that we're going to be seeing all four of these women in a YWC SmackDown ring. It's all about equal opportunity here in the YWC. And yes, folks, if you didn't tune in earlier, we have a new YWC World Heavyweight Champion in Sami Zayn. He'll be taking on the United States Champion, Apollo Crews, in tonight's main event. And at some point tonight, don't know when, 
the new number one contenders. A nice DDT there by Natalia. The new number one contender for the YWC World Heavyweight Championship will be making his debut. Oh, what a beautiful suplex right there by Natalia and a back body drop to Naomi. And now a leg drop right across the face. Two new superstars in the next two weeks will be making their debut here on SmackDown. One of them will be here tonight. Of course, Charlotte, still the YWC Women's Champion, successfully defended her title against Brie Bella at Night of Champions. Brie will get another opportunity to try and become the number one contender again, but that will more than likely be sometime in the next two weeks. A nice drop toe hold there by Natalia, and now delivers Naomi's face to the mat again. So far, since the bell, it's really been all Natalia up to this point. Naomi's been able to muster very little offense, and now what's Natalia going for here? Oh, reversal! Reversal into a... Boy, I don't even know... It was almost like a, a reverse skull-crushing finale in a way there by Naomi. But Natalia back to her feet and fights back again. There's a drop toe hold courtesy of Naomi. Oh my goodness, and a reverse backbreaker. Beautifully done by Naomi and a couple of kicks right to the head. Naomi just toying with Natalia. You don't want to do that. Oh, and there's a clothesline from Natalia. And here's the cover. Referee at one and a kick out by Naomi. Oh, and there's a Insiguri by Naomi. A kick right to the back of the head. And there's an arm drag. And now Natalia looks like she might be going for a submission here. Oh, no, instead locks the head of Naomi in between the legs and delivers a punch right to the face. And there's a monkey flip. And Naomi again, just toying with Natalia. Natalia very crafty, could lock in that... Oh, there's a jawbreaker. Natalia could lock in the sharpshooter submission at any moment. It's very hard to break that hold as well. And so Naomi cannot take Natalia lightly. Oh, and Natalia with a go behind here. What's she going for? Oh, and there it is. There's the discus clothesline. And there's the submission. Same looking submission that Brie Bella tapped out to at Night of Champions. But Natalia now releases the hold. Oh, and it looked like she was going for another discus forearm, but instead a back body drop to Naomi. And Naomi, rake of the eyes. And there's another arm drag. And Natalia again going for the submission. She's got it cinched in, almost a bow and arrow submission. Will Naomi tap out? No, again, Natalia releases the hold. Oh, what are we going for here? Abdominal stretch, an abdominal stretch. Will Naomi tap out? Oh, what a painful maneuver. The abdominal stretch, Naomi, is she going to tap out? And again, Natalia releases the hold, but now drags Naomi to the center of the ring. This may be an opportunity for a pin. Cover is in. And Naomi with a kick out at two. Very interesting here. We see that bow and arrow submission. There's a drop toe hold there. Or not drop toe, I'm sorry. Side rush and leg sweep rather from Naomi. And a kick right to the... Below the knee. And there's a... Reversal by Natalia. And a kick out by Naomi. We saw Charlotte, who is the... Owner of the figure eight, if you will put in a rather unusual submission on Brie in order to retain the title. And here Natalia, known for the sharpshooters, there's a beautiful suplex there to Natalia. And here's the cover. And the kick out at one. Natalia going for a couple of submissions here, not the sharpshooters. So you can definitely see that the women in this division, they are definitely reinventing themselves. Not going with us what usually brings them to the dance. And there's a nice clothesline by Natalia. Here's the cover. Will this advance Natalia? And oh my goodness, almost a kick, almost a three foot count there. Referee's hand was coming down for three and Naomi just barely kicked out. Oh, Naomi with a go behind. Sleeper, sleeper hold on Natalia. Is Natalia gonna tap or is Natalia gonna go unconscious? Natalia caught in the sleeper. 
Referee is asking. Oh, and there's a nice reversal there. A jawbreaker by Natalia. Oh, and what she's setting up for here. Drop kick right to the face of Naomi. That could do it. That could be all. Natalia in for the pin. One, two, and a kick out by Naomi at two. What's Natalia got to do to put Na uh, Naomi away? And there's a drop told by Naomi. Oh, Naomi's calling for something here. What is she going for? Naomi is fired up. The rear view. The rear view. Will that do it? Cover. Two count. Three and that's it. Naomi will advance in the tournament to be the number one contender. So Naomi will move on to the semifinals, defeating Natalia here tonight. Still lots more to come here on SmackDown. Welcome back everybody to YWC SmackDown. A week ago, we crowned our very first YWC World Tag Team Champions and here comes one half of the world's largest tag team, The Big Show. And here comes the other half, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Big Show and Mark Henry were successful in defeating the New Day at Night of Champions in order to become the first YWC World Tag Team Champions and they are in action here tonight. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to stop these two with the momentum they've been on since realigning themselves. Well, here comes the team of Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. These two were unsuccessful in moving on to Night of Champions to battle for the tag team titles. But tonight they got an opportunity to prove themselves. Maybe if they can get a victory, they'll have a chance at the tag team titles at a later date. Well, Enzo Amore and Big Cass with a little bit of verbal fighting going on here against Big Show and Mark Henry. I'm, I'm not quite certain I would call the world's largest athlete and the world's strongest man soft, but obviously you could tell a lot of confidence here as Big Show starts things out with Enzo Amore. And nice shot there by Enzo and a hit right to the back, right to the kidneys of the big seven footer. I'll tell you what I would love to see at some point here is the big show. Seven foot, 500 pounds going on with the seven footer big cast. That'd be quite a matchup. But like I said, if Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy by some miracle are able to defeat the big show and Mark Henry tonight, they may be in line for a tag team title matchup. Maybe at the next pay-per-view. 
And Enzo, oh, nice kick right to the leg. That's what you got to do is delete the vertical base. And oh, here we go. Seven foot on seven foot. Oh, and the Big Show just dropping Big Cass to the mat. Picks him up by the face. And now a go by. And look at the strength of the Big Show. Oh, and there's a jawbreaker reversal and a kick to the midsection by Big Cass. Obviously, of the two, Big Cass would probably be the one. Oh, and a belly to belly. Big Cass would probably be the better one as far as mobility and athleticism is concerned. Oh, and the Big Show going to tag in the world's strongest man. And Big Cass will tag in Enzo Amore. I'm not certain Enzo wanted that tag. Now he's got to go one on one with the world's strongest man. Oh, and look at the shoulder block by Mark Henry. And now rings the arm of Enzo, and he'll do it again. And now tags in the Big Show. The Big Show and Mark Henry winning the tag team titles at Night of Champions after Kofi Kingston tried to move off the top rope. Here's a cover on the Big Show, and not even a one count. Referee didn't even get his hand down for one, and the Big Show kicked out. But Kofi Kingston was going for an aerial assault. And the Big Show with that big right hand, the weapon of mass destruction, dropped Kofi Kingston to the mat, turned out his lights. And there's a clothesline by Mark Henry, maybe turning out Colin Cassidy's lights. Oh, and Big Cass fighting back. Oh, and look at this. Lufetch press and ringing down the right hands. Oh, there's a go behind by Big Cass. Mark Henry reversal. And a belly to belly. You don't want to match strength with the world's strongest man. That's not a moniker. That's a fact about Mark Henry. Oh, and Big Cass then over the top rope. Oh, and there's a forearm to Mark Henry. Big Cass gets back into the ring. Oh, what's he going for here? Is he going to try and suplex? Mark Henry blocks it and reverses it. And now Mark Henry ringing in the right hands down upon Big Cass. Oh, it picks him up. What's Mark Henry going to do here? Lifts him up and slams him back down to the mat. Oh, look at this. Almost a, I don't even know. It was like a, a headbutt. That was weird. Here's the cover on Big Cass. And that's it! Wow! A sh dominating performance by Big Show and Mark Henry easily knocking off Enzo Amori and Big Cass. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Who is going to stop these two? I don't think anyone can. I think these two will be hanging on to those tag team titles for as long as they want to. Still lots more to come here on SmackDown. Don't go away! Welcome back everybody to YWC SmackDown as we get ready for a rematch, if you will, between two of the competitors that were in the ladder match at Night of Champions. It'll be the first time these two go one-on-one, -on -one, but of course they know each other very well. They spent most of that matchup at Night of Champions fighting against each other, so we get to see it now. One-on-one -on -one with no interference. Shinsuke Nakamura and the Beast Brock Lesnar. This should be a good one. And of course, both of these men unsuccessful in becoming the YWC World Heavyweight Champion at Night of Champions and maybe looking for some retribution here tonight. Maybe they could put themselves in the title picture at a later date, but folks, tonight, at some point, we don't know when, but at some point, the number one contender for the YWC World Heavyweight Championship will be making his debut. 
You'll also see the current YWC World Heavyweight Champion, Sami Zayn, in action in our main event as he takes on the current United States Champion, Apollo Crews. Shinsuke sent into the corner, reverses on Brock Lesnar, now sends Lesnar into the corner. Lesnar's advocate, Paul Heyman, on the outside looking on. Go behind by Brock Lesnar. Oh, and a beautiful angle slam. And there's a kick by Shinsuke right to the mush. Collar and elbow tie up. Lesnar with the headlock and kind of a fireman's carry on Shinsuke. And now another collar and elbow tie up. A test of strength between these two. And here comes a suplex, belly to belly suplex by the beast Brock Lesnar. When Lesnar starts suplexing, you've got to be worried. There's another one. And Paul Heyman on the outside holding up two fingers, beginning the count of Suplex City. What a beautiful go behind spinning neck breaker by Shinsuke Nakamura. Kick right to the midsection. Shinsuke on a flurry right now. Oh, wait a minute. Lesnar going for another suplex perhaps. And Shinsuke with a suplex of his own. That's one way to get in the head of the Beast Incarnate. Beat him at his own game. Oh, what's this? Oh, a backstabber. Beautifully maneuvered. Knees right to the back. Oh, and what a beautiful maneuver off the second rope. Oh, but wait a minute. Lesnar with an overhead suplex. That's three. Three suplexes by Brock Lesnar to Shinsuke Nakamura. Paul Heyman on the outside encouraging the crowd to count along. Oh, and what's Brock going to do here? Is he going for maybe another one? No, it's a swinging neck breaker by Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke holding his own right now against Lesnar. And there's a wicked clothesline. Holy cow, he might have taken Nakamura's head off. And there comes another suplex. We're up to four suplexes by Brock Lesnar. And Brock, oh, look at Brock on the outside. What's he doing? Looks like he wants a timeout for a minute here. I don't know. Oh, and there's a drop kick by Shinsuke. Shinsuke, not afraid, followed Lesnar to the outside. Knee to the gut. And Brock sent back into the ring. What's Nakamura going to do here? Lesnar back out to the outside again. And oh, not out there. Oh, another suplex. We're up to five suplexes. Four in the ring, one out here on the floor in front of us. Now ringing down the right hands, picks up Shinsuke Nakamura. We'll send him back into the ring. Lesnar just picking apart Shinsuke, but here comes Shinsuke back. Shinsuke going for something here, and Lesnar reverses it, and now begins to ring in the right hands again. Lesnar trying to whip Shinsuke into the corner. Shinsuke off the turnbuckle. Oh, and what a beautiful slam, a power slam. There's the cover, and a kick out at two. Now Brock with a headlock, knee right to the face. Send up Shinsuke for some. Oh, there's a nice reversal there. An arm wrinkle reversal by Shinsuke. And Lesnar with the right hands once again. Lifts up Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, and another slam. That could have done it. Cover. One. And a kick out at one. Got to give Shinsuke Nakamura credit. Tremendous heart to stay in this matchup with Lesnar. And there's another overhead suplex. We're up to six. How many more suplexes can Shinsuke take? He'll take another one. That's seven. Oh, and, it, and Lesnar not letting go of the hold. Nine total suplexes now. A trifecta of overhead suplexes. Has that done it for Shinsuke? The cover. And that's going to do it. Brock Lesnar, nine suplexes, finishes off Shinsuke Nakamura. The Beast Incarnate has won the matchup. Shinsuke puts up a, put up a good fight, but just could not match the brute strength of Brock Lesnar. Don't go away. We got lots more coming up here tonight on SmackDown.
welcome back everyone to YWC SmackDown as we get ready for yet another women's matchup in which one of them will move on to the semi-finals to become the number one contender for Charlotte's YWC Women's Championship. Emma loves to have fun, but tonight she's going to have her hands full with... Oh, having some trouble there in the ropes. She's going to have to deal with maybe one of the stronger women on the roster. Emma making her in-ring debut, as is this woman. The powerhouse, the power lifter, Dana Brooke. So here we go, getting set for this matchup. Been an opportunity tonight for a number of women to make their in-ring debut here on YWC SmackDown. There's a nice power slam there by Dana Brooke, the show of strength. And one of these two women will be going on next week to face off against Naomi, who is successful against Natalia here tonight to move on to the semifinals. Oh, and a kick right to the back. Actually, I apologize. I meant to say in two weeks they will face off against Naomi. Next week we'll be having two more women's matchups in which the two winners in those matchups will face each other in two weeks as well in another semifinal match. Also tonight, folks, after this matchup, it's the YWC World Heavyweight Champion Sami Zayn taking on the United States Champion Apollo Crews in our main event. And we still have yet to see the appearance of the number one contender for Sami Zayn's YWC World Heavyweight Championship. But I have it on good authority. He will be here tonight. Dana Brooke. Kick right to the midsection of Emma. And oh wow, a beautiful arm ringer takedown there on Emma. Emma trying to fight back, but oh man, knee right to the face. You gotta bet that somewhere in the back, Naomi is watching this matchup, and there's a neck breaker by Emma. Naomi looking to see which one of these two competitors she'll be facing off against in two weeks. And there's a nice arm drag by Emma. Emma suddenly starting to build some momentum. And a go behind on Dana Brooke. Oh, and a jawbreaker. Thought maybe Emma might go for the pin. And look at there. There's the power of Dana Brooke just shoulder blocking Emma right to the canvas. Oh, what's she going for here? Lifts up Emma. Fall away slam. Dana Brooke now lifts Emma up. What's she going for here? Brings the arm and... Oh, there's a leg drag. That'll tear a knee. Tear a meniscus. Man. And they're laying in the rights and lefts. So a go behind again. Oh, what's we going for here? Is it a knee breaker? Yes, it is. Oh, man. Working on the leg of Emma is Dana Brooke. And now driving her head repeatedly down to the campus. Oh, Emma with a reversal. Enzo Curry. Beautiful kick there by Dana Brooke. Here's the cover. That could have been it. And a kick out at one. Oh, and look at there. Almost a reversal Ric Flair-like knife-edge chop. Dana Brooke, of course, a protege of the YWC Women's Champion Charlotte. So probably learning that move from the Nature Boy's daughter. And Emma... Trying to mount some offense, but there's a drop toe hold again by Dana Brooke. Oh, there's a right hand. Emma creating some separation. Oh, here's a go behind and a neck breaker again. And there's a shot to the gut by Dana Brooke. Oh, a shot to the kidneys courtesy of Emma. 
Oh, let's go for a monkey flip. Sends Dana Brooke right into the corner. I'm sorry, it wasn't a monkey flip. That was a hurricane runner, but you get the point. Oh, and there's a belly to belly by Emma. That could do it. No, instead of going for the pin. Wasted valuable time. Oh, what's, what's Dana Brooke going for here? Oh, a beautiful slam. Here's the cover. One, two. Dana Brooke is moving on to the semifinal against Naomi. Pretty dominating performance there. A show of strength by Dana Brooke. And will she be the one to challenge Charlotte for the YWC Women's Championship? Up next, our main event. Sami Zayn versus Apollo Crews. And we still have to have the appearance of the number one contender for the title. That coming up next. And here comes the man who up to this point has been undefeated on SmackDown. Apollo Crews, the United States Champion, successfully defended his title at Night of Champions against Daniel Bryan. So far, Apollo Crews has been in five matchups and he has been successful in each and every one of them. Can tonight continue his winning streak? And here comes the very first YWC World Heavyweight Champion. There you see Sami Zayn donning the new YWC SmackDown World Heavyweight Championship belt that I presented to him earlier on tonight. Sami Zayn trying to gain momentum after being successful in winning the title in a ladder match, a six-man ladder match a week ago at Night of Champions. He calls himself the underdog of the underground, and he has come out victorious. But tonight, he's got quite a task on his hands, trying to hand Apollo Crews his first loss on SmackDown Live. And of course, Sami Zayn as well told tonight that he has a number one contender for his title picked out. Oh, and what a beautiful... Reversal there by Sami Zayn. The quickness of Zayn might be what's needed against Apollo Crews, but then again, Daniel Bryan. Very similar style to Sami Zayn, and he was unable to be successful in gaining the United States Championship against Apollo Crews at Night of Champions. So it'll be interesting tonight, champion versus champion. It's also the first time that Apollo Crews is not defending his United States Championship. He defended it for three straight weeks on SmackDown Live Television and then of course at the pay-per-view of Night of Champions but tonight his gold is not on the line kick right to the back there of Sami Zayn and there's a beautiful moonsault there standing moonsault by Sami Zayn and there's a drop kick I cannot wait until the appearance of the number one contender for the YWC World Heavyweight Championship belt. I was in talks with this person 24 hours before the Night of Champions pay-per-view. And Michael, I hope you are watching because there is a free agent out there you did not sign. You may have gotten Shelton Benjamin, but I'm telling you what, we've got ourselves two very good superstars coming here to SmackDown. One tonight, and one next week. Oh, and there's a reversal and a rope break there, as Sami Zayn did have the pinning predicament, but... Oh, he's going for it again! This time, referee's got to count, and a kick out at one. Oh, look at there, Apollo Crews just swatting Sami Zayn away, but there's a drop kick that found its mark. And Apollo Crews has to use his power, and there he does with the overhead suplex on Sami Zayn. 
I wonder if Apollo Crews will be able to match the suplexes that Brock Lesnar performed tonight. Nine in total as he defeated Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, and Sammy. Oh, a beautiful suplex of his own. Sammy Zayn deceptively strong. There's a nice arm drag there. Oh, what's Sammy doing? Going to the top rope. Frog splash. But I think Apollo Crews got the knees up. He did. Oh, and Apollo. What's he setting up for here? And a knee right to the face. Apollo Crews has put away the likes of Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Rusev, Daniel Bryan. He looks to do the same tonight and continue on his winning streak. So far, he is 5-0. Here's a roll-up. Cover. And kick out at 2. Boy, that was nearly it. Oh, here's a cover. And a kick out at 2 as Zayn bridges out of the predicament. Oh, and here's a cover again. And a kick out at 1. Nice sequence of pins there. And there's a side Russian leg sweep by Cruz. Sami Zayn appears to be a little groggy. No, instead, he's got an arm bar in. He's got an armbar submission in. Oh my goodness, I've never seen that submission before. Will Apollo Crews tap? No. He's able to fight out of it, but beautiful submission by Sami Zayn and went for the drop kick. Apollo Crews swats him away, but there's an arm drag instead. Zayn going to go up top, off the rope, and there's a moonsault, but I think he might have missed it. Actually, it wasn't a moonsault. It was a reverse frog splash, but I think he missed it regardless. He found nothing but canvas. Go behind... Oh, there's a beautiful suplex there by Sami Zayn. Dropping Apollo right on his head. And here's another submission. He's got a submission cinched in. Will Cruz tap out? And Cruz able to fight out of it again. Oh, and oh, what a beautiful pinning predicament there. And a kick out. Boy, Sami Zayn showing off his talents here tonight. Oh, and there's a kick right in the corner by Apollo Cruz. Zayn dropped to the mat. He could be out. Zane could be out. Cruz looking for the cover. Here's the pin. And a kick out at one by Sami Zayn. Oh, and a power slam. That's got to do it. Apollo Cruz with the power slam. I don't know why he didn't just go for the pin there. Setting up again for the flying knee. And he hits it. And now... Possibly setting up for his finishing maneuver, but Zane able to reverse it. Oh, look at this. Oh, and there's a... Almost a slam down to the mat by Cruz, and here's the cover. That's got to be it. And a kick out at one. Go behind by Apollo Cruz. Shot to the back. Headlock, knee to the gut. And now repeated kicks right to the chest. And a kick up by Apollo Crews. Crews is fired up. This could be it for Sami Zayn. Crews may be setting up for the finisher. Oh, but Sami with a kick right to the side of Apollo Crews' head. Here's the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. Oh, bring Sami Zayn down to the mat with a foot right to the knee. And here's the cover by Apollo Crews. Could this be it? And a kick out at one. Oh, and Apollo Crews sent over the ropes. And a shoulder block to the gut. Flips over. Here's the pin. One, two. Zayn reverses it. One, two, three. He's got him. Sami Zayn has handed Apollo Crews his first loss on SmackDown. Sami Zayn. What a tremendous job. And I'm getting word, folks. Something big is just about to happen. Michael, the best in the world, CM Punk, is on SmackDown! He's the number one contender for the YWC World Heavyweight Champion, and he is on SmackDown Live! Listen to this place! It is electric! 
maybe one of the hottest free agents out there is now a part of SmackDown. CM Punk is here on SmackDown. We'll see you guys next week.